Governor's ball went great. Planetary assault did not go so great. Ordered a few disappearances. Sent a letter of condolence to the governor for his son. Pinned the whole thing on those admec pervs. Never trust those freaks around the crons. Inquisitor Carolus just sent me an astropathic message. Probably gloating. The fuck? Doesn't matter. Had sex. Be Commissar. Get contacted by some other rando inquisitor stating the guy who let the assault happen is planning on making me disappear. Fucking heretics.warp. Have one of those magos do some science fuckery to get one of the new fags who look like me for decoy purposes. You have to hide with a few arch magos when the governor sends his assassins. Get contacted by same inquisitor who contacted me gave me some dirt on the governor. Best detail being he used seduction to get the assault approved. Contact some lady I knew back in Scola Progenium with the seduction info and tell her the governor is a Slaneshi heretic. A few weeks later, multiple sisters enter the, into the system and start a crusade. Was able to get my name cleared as I watched the sector be doused in cleansing fire. Also, to the Inquisitor who approved of this, I hope you get assigned to a world attacked by Nids. B. Servo Skull B. Sororitas Canoness of the Order of the Ermine Mantle Don't get a fifth of the budget those bottle blonde martyred lady sluts do. Spend three years of my life fighting orcs over some bumfuck system. Bionic eye now because why wear a helmet when your hair is fucking fabulous, but the Emperor's protection decided to take a day off. Looking forward to going back to the shrine world. Get diverted because another local system governor has gone heretic and it was on the way. Fucking fine. It's Lanesh too. You just know they're gonna be the rapey ones. Break out the flamers. Hopefully this doesn't take long. Be Slaneshi heretic. Suddenly the governor is a heretic now too. Call bullshit. He never comes to the coke orgy like everyone else. Start vote to kick him out. Everyone agrees. Next day sororitas show up and start torching people. We didn't even do anything for once. It isn't our fault something bad happened. Get roasted by some Genu bimbo while balls deep in a shredder. Turns out this was all Zinch's fault. Fucking prick. P. Zinch. Way behind on schemes this century. Keep making great intricate plans to bring down whole planets or space marine chapters over the course of hundreds of years. They just end up getting eaten by Tyranids instead. No, the other Chaos Gods are tucking shit behind my back. Notice Imperium World getting Necroned. They could probably deal with it, but their leaders keep fucking each other over for no reason. Those preachy Emperor ladies showed up and start burning Slaneshi cultists. Lol, perfect. Send message to Slaanesh. Destabilized the world and got to blame your dudes for it. Just as planned, bitch. My face when I didn't even do anything. Be the governor's whore of a daughter. Shit daddy wakes me up by setting the room lights on Max and yelling where I have been. Partying all night. High on low sticks, Amasek, and some weird shit this high administrator geek brought. HeadExploding.exe Wake up with this Ecclesiarch youngster bishop I laid last night. He looks like he is starting to cry, turns red and bumbles some stuff about him using the Emperor's protection and shit. While my father yells at me and completely ignores him. 
Apparently some shit happened in the north. Now daddy wants me to bring some of this Inquisition creeps to agree to his plan. What happens with the Inquisition stays in the Inquisition. Jeff. Get home. Bishop boy sent me a ton of flowers and shit. Daddy is sniffing his special medicine again. Some commissariat asshat shot my brother. Some robots are fighting his forces and some of the bolter bitches are here because someone told them about our orgies we hosted in our palace. B. Ecclesiarchy Youngster Bishop Went to tend to the flock last night, keeping an eye out for heresy. While watching for demons, I found an angel. It was love at first sight for the both of us. So caught up in the moment, basically fainted into my arms. As I held her, she said the world was spinning. So overwhelmed by emotion, she cried out to the Emperor for guidance, saying she had no idea what was going on. As she was obviously hysterical with emotion, decided to take her home. Though I had the best intentions, she pulled me into the bed with her. We made tender love and it was more than I ever could have imagined. She introduced me to her father in the morning. Had to leave but sent flowers. Can't wait to see my angel again. I can already imagine our future together. May have to make some changes concerning my career trajectory. But I'm sure my future father-in-law can help.